this this rule, this is the main formula. We're going to use this ace. The uh, arithmetic sequence is going to be equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Okay? So that's that's that, that main rule. Make sure you have that up there because the whole thing revolves around that equation. Okay, that equation, everything revolves around that equation. Okay, make sure everything revolves around that equation. And um, so the only thing, whoa, oh, I feel weird. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ah, it feels like hot. It's like hot in here. Dang. Nathaniel, is it hot where you're at? No. Something weird's happening. Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at... Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, my gosh. There's like a radiation power coming in. Ah! I don't start. Ah! Where are you? Ah! Man, it's super burning hot. Oh, oh. Ah, help me. Ah. It's burning. My whole body, the singes of my hairs are just. Ah. Oh. Ah. oh, my gosh. The radiation is just so extreme. But I'm starting to feel a strength. Invincible power. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm getting this crazy meteor strength. I'm going to use my powers for good and not evil. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. I think a, a meteor just passed by over here, just radiated the whole campus. Oh. Hang on, I have to recover here. So some, some weird just happened, guys. I don't even know. I'm okay. Did that happen anywhere else? Abraham, did you feel that? Did that happen where you're at? No. Oh, it didn't. Are you sure? So I want to make yeah. sure you're safe. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, shoot, man. Dennis, did you feel that, that, that surge of radiation or something? It was just burning, like my eyes. I didn't Dennis, feel it. You did? No. Was it just here at the Oxnard High School? It must I should have asked the other teachers. Miley, did you feel it? No. Oh, I think I have powers now, though. Oh, I don't. I don't want you to know my secret identity, but it's like, what should my superhero power name be? You know? I don't know. I think. I think I have the power to turn invisible. I feel it. Let me try it. I'm going to try to turn invisible. You guys tell me if you can see me. Here we go. Oh, okay. Well, I'm invisible now. Okay, let me ask. Um, let's see. Samantha, can you see me? I think I'm invisible. Yeah, I can see you. Are you sure? Wait, what? I feel invisible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mara. Okay, wait, let me try it again, Mara. Okay, I'm invisible now, right, Mara? Am I invisible? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. You guys, listen. Okay, look. I'm going to do something crazy. It's going to look like this pen is floating because I'm invisible. Whoa. It's not really, I'm holding it in the air, but it's, it looks like it's floating, but I'm really invisible. It's just me holding it. 
Sam, does it look like it's floating in the air? Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Are you sure it's not connected to the string sensor? No, it's not. Really? Look at watch. Watch. Could it do this if it's connected to a string? Look at well, that. I mean, technically, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look at this. Oh, wait. You can't see me because I'm invisible. Wait. I'll show you with. <laughs> I'll show you with. Um, look. Look at. It looks like this ruler's flood, but look at. Would the ruler be able to go like this all the way around? Wait, it put my hands in the way. Shoot. I don't know. Wait, hang on. Look, would it be able to go all the way around? Watch. Look at that, it goes all the way around. Look at that, it wouldn't be able to. No strings. Okay, I'm gonna re-invisible, invisibilize myself. Okay, now I'm back. Okay, I don't mean to freak you out. Is this freaking, you? so I don't mean to freak you out. Brett, is this freaking you out? I'm sorry, my new powers? Yeah, it is. Okay, Brett, I'm sorry, it's really me. Okay, let's get to work. I don't mean to freak you guys out. I'm sorry. Okay, Elise, I'm sorry. Did I freak you out, Elise? I didn't mean to. No. I didn't? Okay, you're strong. Elise, you are you are strong. You are strong, Elise. I love your strength. Okay, we left on number 23. So 23, ask this. Okay, let's look at 23. We're going to be done in this in less than 20 minutes, guys. You watch. Here's 23. That's oh, crazy. I'm invisible. I'm, I think I'm going to use my powers for good, though. I like Kevin, who's not sure. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use them for good. Except I might, I might use it also for me to make a lot of money, too, at the same time. It's good, but I want to use my powers to make. Oh, there it is. Oh, delicious. Um, I'm looking for the instructions. There it is. Okay, 23. Write a rule for the nth term of the sequence, then graph the first six terms of the sequence. Okay, so notice we are not given the first term, we're given the 11th term. So 23, so we have to write down and then we have to graph the first six terms. So we have here. 23, okay, now, we have the 11th term is 43, and the common difference is 5, okay, the common difference is 5, so, here we go, I'm back, common difference is 5, and let's use our, our rule, our, our arithmetic sequence format, I need the first term in order for me to figure out what the rule is. I have the common difference, and I have the 11th term. So let's plug in what we know and then solve for the first term. Now, I can plug, let's plug in anything. Let's, instead of the, the, the nth term, let's plug in the 11th term. Let's say, let's do the 11th term, which is 43. And then we still want to figure out what is the first term. Now, I have the 11th term, so my n is going to equal 11. Sorry, this is supposed to be n minus 1. n minus 1. Sorry about that. Change that to n minus 1. 11 minus 1 times the common difference is 5. And then this will give me my first term by solving for a of n. Okay, so 11 minus 1 is 10. First term plus 10 times 5, which is 50, and then subtract 50, and I get negative 7 is my first term. Boom. Done. So, Um, I have here, um, let's plug in my, seven, my negative 7 
to my equation, I'm going to say the nth term is the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 5. Okay, there's my equation. Now let's plug in our numbers with the, the, the first term, and we can figure out our rule. I now have the first term and the common difference. I can figure out the rule now, right? What is my first term? Negative 7. What's my common difference? 5. Let's plug in. The nth term is equal to the first term, which is negative. I know I'm in the way. I'll get out of the way in a second. Negative 7, maybe I should stand here. Plus n minus 1 times the common difference, 5. Right? And so, negative 7 plus distribute the 5, 5n five minus 5. Then let's add these together. Then the same side equals sign. Negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12. So my rule is 5n minus 12. There's my rule. Now they want us to graph the first six terms. I'm going to go turn on my little graphy graph. So let's figure out, let's graph the first six terms. Let's figure out the first six terms are the n, the n, the rule, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. What is my first term? My first term is negative seven. And then you can tell there's a couple ways we can figure out the six terms. My common difference is five. So I'm going to add 5 each time. Or I can plug in 2 here and say, plug in 2, 5 times 2 minus 12. 10 minus 12 is negative 2. Second term is negative 2. But if I add 5, I get negative 2. I can plug in 3. 5 times 3 minus 12 is 15 minus 12 is um, 3. So that's 3. But you can also say add 5, add 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. Those are my first six terms. The different ways you can do it. Maybe I'm going too fast, I don't know. But let's graph it. I'm going to erase this. Assume that you got it. So now you have to graph it. The graphing part is pretty simple. Here's my graph. I want to graph the first six terms. Here's my nth term. I want my first term, my second term, my third term, my fourth term, my fifth term, my sixth term. I'm going to be going up to positive 18. That's my biggest term is positive 18. So here, my lowest term is negative 7. I want to go to negative 7, right? So what should I, I want to go up to 18? I want to make these by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. So there's my graph all set up. Now I just plot my points. The thing is, well, how are we doing on time? I saw 15 minutes. What is my first term? My first term is negative 7. So I figure my first term was negative 7. Negative 7 is right here. Boom. What's my second term? My second term is negative 2. Negative 2 is right there. What's my third term? My third term is 3, and 3 is right there. What's my fourth term? My fourth term is 8. What's my fifth term? My fifth term is 13. What's my sixth term? My sixth term is 18. And there's your graph. I'll let you take a chance to look at it. Move the side here as I'm talking. Actually, I can point. You do not connect the dots. They stay like that because it is a discrete graph. Why? Because I only have a first term, a second term, a third term. There's no one and a half terms. There's no 1.35 terms. There's no terms in between. You just have those specific terms. So it's just going to be these dots. Are there any questions? I'm going to turn invisible. Whoa.
visible. See, it was me holding it. You guys thought it was just going up. Okay, let's go with, um, should I do 27 or should I move on? Should I do 27? We have 15 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna race this in 10 seconds. Does anyone need it? I'm looking at the computer, so I'm looking down. Raise your hand if, if Sensei, I get this. Put your hand up or up in front of the screen, or at least put a little dot in front of the. Say, I get this, Toy Sensei. Okay, don't lie. Raise your hand if you want to see another example like one like that. Raise your hand. I want to see another example like one like that. Raise your hand. Put your hand down if you do not. I can do one real fast. Okay, I'm going to move on then. I'm erasing this. But the main thing is, if we have time, I'll do another one like that, okay? If we have time. Uh, I think, okay. So, the main thing is, you have to figure out the first term, right? By plugging in the terms, and then you find that first term, and then you just go ahead and solve it, and then you find the other six terms. That's it. Okay. Um, look at 31. Now, 31 wants us to find the rule. I'll just read the instructions for you. Write the rule for the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So again, we're going to do this. This is, what is this, 31. So 31, we're going to say the nth term, again, is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference. The thing is this. They do not give us a first term, and they don't give us a common difference. They only give us two different terms. What I mean by that is 31, they give us the, they give us the fifth term, which is 41, and, and they give us, they give us the tenth term. which is 96. So we don't have the first term, and we don't even have the common difference. So what we're going to do is first find the common difference using this format here, using this formula, okay? So what do I have? All I have is the fifth term, which I'm going to put for n, and the 41. So I'm going to go here. Instead of a of n, I'm going to do, let me get my red pen. <coughs> <coughs> I'll put 41 here equals the first term, which I don't know, plus, but I know my n is 5, 5 minus 1 times the common difference. I don't know what the common difference is either, but I can do 5 minus 1 is 4, so let's simplify this. Okay, I'll pause, stop that right there. Let's stop on that equation. We're going to put this and save it for later. Let me know if I'm going too fast. So let's do the same thing with this one. I have 96 is equal to, I don't know my first term either, but I know it's the 10 minus 1 is d. So let's simplify that. 10 minus 1 is 9. So I'm going to say 96 equals the first term plus 9d. Now, we're going to do what we call, like, remember doing the elimination method? We're going to do the elimination method. Okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 96 minus, or equals the first term plus 9d. You know what I'm going to subtract? I'm going to subtract this from it. 41 is equal to the, this is the first term, the first term plus 4D. And I'm going to subtract those. Now, remember to subtract, I like to add the opposites. I'm just doing addition, make this a negative, make this a negative, make that a negative. 96 
minus 41 is 55. A first term minus first term, A1 minus A1, it goes away. Hence, the elimination method. 9 minus 4 is 5D. Guess what? Now we can solve for D and figure out the common difference by dividing by 5. D equals 11. Okay, now I have my D. Now i got to figure out my first term. Are there any questions before I figure out the first term? I got my D. Got to figure out my first term. Okay, so let's pick. Let's pick one of these. One of these terms. I can do my fifth term, which is forty-one, or my tenth term, which is ninety-six. I can use either one. It doesn't matter which one. Which one should I use? Um, Nathaniel, which one should I use? It's up to you. Should I use the fifth term or the tenth term? Which one, Nathaniel? The fifth term. All right, Nathaniel says the fifth term. Nothing wrong with that. Let's do it. So let's plug in what we know here. I know that I have 41 is equal to, I don't know my first term, plus n minus 1. 5 minus, 5 minus 1 times d, which is 11. Now I can figure out my first term, which is what we did on the last one. 41 equals first term plus 4 times 11. 41 equals first term plus 44. Subtract 44 on both sides. And my negative 3 is my first term. Now I have everything I need. I have my first term. I have my common difference. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's write our equation. I'm going to do it over here. I should do it in a different color. Let's do it in green. Everything is right here. Got my first term. I got my common difference. So I got then equals. Uh, the first term, negative 3 plus n minus 1 times the common difference. And No, minus, sorry, minus 11. Negative 3 minus 11. 11 and minus 14. And that is your rule. All that. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Anyone? Anyone? Any questions? Any questions? Anyone? That's number 33. Got to go up to 39. No questions? Going once. No questions? Going twice. Uh, we have five minutes left of class. I'm going to dismiss you if you want to go. If you have personal questions and you want to ask me regarding this, you can. Um, I love you guys. I will see you. Love you, Navid. Bye, Stephen. Bye, Connor. Bye, Samantha. Bye, Miley. See you, Miley. Bye, Ian. Bye, Linda. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Dennis. Love you, Alonzo. Bye, Angel. Angel Rojas. Angel Lopez. Bye, Sam.
Jackson, are you there? Yeah. What's up, man? Um, I joined a uh, class late on Friday, and I didn't get the code for the seven point one quiz. All right, are you in it right now? 